Welcome everyone to Dubai Trains, the channel that is all about model railroading. As this is one of my very first uh, videos that I'm doing, I thought it would be most appropriate to start with a tour of my layout. It is a H of scale uh, layout, freelance design, and the operations are purely point to point. Before we do a tour of the layout, let's first have a look at the schematics. So this is my layout's track plan. We start up here on the top, this is Asheville. Then the train goes around this bend and comes into Bucks. Then loops around it, goes through the tunnel, all the way underneath the layout, and then pops up here again for a long stretch, and then enters Connellsville. And then once we pass Connellsville, it goes all the way behind the backdrop, up a 2.5% grade and arrives in Dalton. So now let's have a look at the layout itself. So first off is uh, Asheville. As you see here, it goes all the way to the right where we have the terminal. Of course, the terminal is far too large for a small point to point like this. Panning back to the left, then we have the engine facilities. As I model the transition era, the coal and water tower are there for the steam trains. And then of course we got the diesel fueling platform there. So as we have a look at the tracks, the first one, two tracks are actually a run around, the only run around in Asheville. And then behind it are one, two tracks for classification. And then if we pan, to the east, this is where we have all the industries on this part of the layout. So on the right we have uh, Betty's Barrels and Tools, and then here we have the Railway Express Agency with uh, three spots there. That building is yet to be completed. Then we have two tracks here, one for storage and one for the stock cars to load the cattle onto the stock cars. And then we have here, this track is actually a small, let's say, lead to the runaround. And then from about this area here, it's the industry track for the transformer company. And then here we have a caboose track and two train team tracks right there. So heading west from Asheville, the train would actually go all the way here around this bend into the tunnel. So the train would reappear here from this tunnel and then it reaches the small, well, industry area of Bucks. Bucks has no turnaround track, so it's actually switched from the, uh, the terminal facility and the yard master of Asheville. So down here, what do we have? We have a small team track that holds three spots. And here we have Bill's uh, coal and oil trading and here is a sideshow scrap, a little scrap yard. The train end continues here around the bend on the branch line. Let me just move around here, see if we can get that done. After which it disappears here in the tunnel. The train then reappears here in what is actually one of the longest visible runs of the layout just because the train travels just underneath Asheville and then arrives what I have called Connellsville. Let's do it. So coming in from this track down here, we have two industry spurs in the end with Pico's farm here that can house some stock cars, pick up some cattle and then wait. And then on the left here, we have a feed company that takes some hoppers. We have here two tracks that form a runaround for Connellsville. We have a canning facility with its own power plant that generates quite a lot of traffic. And then we have the creamery up here, which also generates quite a lot of traffic. And spend, depending on the season, we have an extra storage track here to, to hold some of those uh, reefers that would otherwise go to the canning facility. Let's take a run around. Let's see if we can do that a bit quickly to the other side. Oh, I forgot to mention that, but there's a, a team track here as well. A little city scene, just to try that out. 
After this, the train continues here on the branch line and goes into this yet to be scenic forest area with some buildings here. After which the train continues all the way back the back wall all the way up there. And that's where we'll continue. So coming in here from behind the back wall, this area will be hidden somewhat from all kinds of city structures and scenes. And then there's a girder bridge over here after which it enters the city of Dalton. Let's take a little moment to look at this. So this is actually one of the biggest industries on the layout, which is a meat packing company. So the back spur is the direct access into the meat company, the meat packing. This is where the processed meat and the packaged meat would come out. And on the same track there, there is a coal unloading facility for the power plant. And there's some tanks right there for the um, fats and other lubricants that come from the meat packing facility. Then the next track here where the car cards are, there's actually, it's just a storage track. Sometimes we get way too many box cars in and we have to store them, empty ones, before they can take the meat uh, back out. And then we got here, we got a, a spur only dedicated for the stock cars, the unloading of that. And then next we have one, two tracks. That's actually a runaround with a little runaround lead here. And there is another runaround on this track here, if you can see it. But you have to go through the small uh, turnaround turntable there. Not very practical. And then that track also dubs as, as overflow for the team track. And this is a team track as well here in the front. And then way on the right, we have a little rip track here where I can store some cars. And that's just a scenic one on the right that doesn't have any any axles or anything like that. So there you have it. That was the whole layout. Hope you enjoyed it. Next time we'll look at some uh, operations, look at how I operate, how that car car system works, and then we'll do some some runs. We can do the local and extra and the uh, Asheville Dalton turn. That's probably the most interesting one. Hope you liked it. If you want to see more, if you have any tips or suggestions, please leave it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe so other people can also see the videos that I'm making and hopefully get some inspiration or thank you and till next time.